Hello everybody and welcome to the channel. I'm finally, finally, finally getting around to producing some different content. So you've been seeing me do a lot of gaming. I've been doing a few talks here and there about, you know, IT and what I'm doing for my career. But this YouTube channel, this is what I'm really um, hoping to kind of become a second you know, source of income, but also I really want to provide just a lot of information for you guys. I want to be able to give you, um, n you know, tips and tricks and nuggets and things that have been uh, working for me in the past, things that have been uh, allowed me to be successful. If you, even if you're brand new to the, to the IT, if you're not even clear on what IT is, I'm going to try to, over the course of some videos and some content, to make it more interesting for you. Uh, hopefully make it more real to you there's so much out there and especially in the time of the pandemic right now we're now in 2021 and so i just wanted to say uh, i hope everyone first and foremost is doing well but what we're going to do here is we're going to do kind of a series on different tools and and uh, programs and things you need to have to break into it so this is uh let me get a sip of my coffee here real quick I'm drinking out of my uh, Black Rifle coffee cup. I'm not sponsored by them, though I wish I was. You probably notice I'm wearing grunt style uh, shirt, you know, <laughs> grunt style uh, coasters. I mean, I've, I've bought all this stuff myself. I'm not, you know, in any shape or form um, trying to get sponsored. It's not, I mean, I'm not saying I'm not trying, but, you know, if it happens, great. If not, I just want to give you guys some great uh, content, and I hope you're going to like this. So I thought today it would be appropriate if we started out with a tutorial on Nmap. You can probably see on the screen here um, above me, uh, Nmap tutorial. And again, we're not going to be able to get into every single thing about Nmap, but I thought I would just do a basic intro. I would look at, you know, you know what Nmap is. We would talk about the different uh, versions of Nmap because there's kind of the there's the Nmap for you know Windows that everyone can you know download and use, and there's kind of the Nmap for Linux. So uh, Nmap is a network mapping tool, and so let's go ahead and jump right into it. So Nmap is a network mapping tool, and it's been around for gosh a long time now. Um, you can see here it's it's free and open source. It works for network discovery and security auditing. Uh, many systems and network administrators use it to manage network inventory, uh, managing a service upgrade schedules, monitoring system uptime. So it has a lot of functionality, bottom line. So Nmap runs on all major operating systems. So it runs on Mac, it runs on Windows, and it runs on Linux. Now, Nmap uh, has been in, featured in, obviously, Linux Journal. It's been featured in uh, several movies, including The Matrix Reloaded, Die Hard 4, uh, The Born Ultimatum. So they even had a separate article on it here. Um, you can see all the different movies that Nmap was featured in. So to me, that's pretty cool. That that makes it worthy alone of just your time. So we're, we, if you've read any of the Edward Snowden uh, information, so... Uh, but Snowden was given a security challenge, but with the help of Nmap and a custom scripting language, Nmap, uh, Snowden was able to accomplish the task in a mere 38 minutes. So Nmap does a lot of a lot of functionality. So we're not going to get into all that, but first, I just wanted to take a look at the top here at Nmap.org. This is the main website. It's also, um, there's another site that's kind of a sister site to this, uh, sectools.org sectools.org. So if you're looking for all of the security tools, all of the cybersecurity tools that are out there, again, this is not all of them, but this is what they consider to be the top 125. So look, we've got Wireshark, we've got Metasploit, we've got Nessus, which is the commercial vulnerability scanner, Aircrack, Snort, Kane Enable, password cracking software, uh, Backtrack, which is now Kali Linux. We're probably going to do a video on Kali Linux, so definitely uh, check uh, let me know in the comments what you want me to do a video on. I'll try to cover as much as I can. 
cover as many tools and tricks and hopefully by the end of this series you'll have a lot more knowledge than you did coming in and i can see my green screen is doing doing whatever technology does hopefully that's not going to be too distracting but anyway i'm not about making a perfect perfect video i do the best i can again i've not been to school for any of this i'm trying to just learn it as i go so on that note let's go ahead and how do we get nmap so you go over to nmap and you go click on download and when you go to the download screen you can i definitely recommend you subscribe to their nmap uh, mailing list there's a wealth of documentation so this is probably the most important if you're doing it on windows this is great you can download uh, the nmap uh, or the zenmap installer which installs everything so you've got Let's go ahead and go click on download and so if you want to get it on windows you can just install the latest release which is nmap 7.91 go ahead and get my oh, not epic games launcher <laughs> we'll edit that out in post-production or we might just leave it i've got this really neat uh tool called epic pen and i'm really a big fan of it because it lets you kind of highlight stuff and and make things more useful so we've got we've got uh this is the where you want to click on right here so click on that download and you're going to get the downloader i'm going to save as and save it somewhere downloads folder it doesn't really matter where and then double click on it and so they've got it's going to run you through some different things if you need to run it on older versions of windows they do have uh, a guide here as well. Maybe we'll do a video on that. But I mean, look, it runs on uh, literally everything. It runs on Red Hat, it runs on Linux, it runs on uh, Mac OS. You can even get the source code if you wanna compile it yourself and run it that way. So most people probably will just get the Windows version unless you're familiar with Linux, unless you're comfortable with, with uh, working your way around a command line. So we got it already downloaded, so we're gonna go ahead and open it. And we're gonna let it try to run here for us. It's gonna say, hey, Microsoft uh, doesn't want you to install uh, stuff from outside the Windows Store. And I'm gonna do it anyway, because I'm a rebel like that. And it's gonna pop up with a Windows installer. And you're gonna get something like this, read the license agreement that nobody reads, but uh, freedom of Share and change the software. Um, says definitions. Contribution means work of authorship. Blah, 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 blah. Derivative work, collective work, executable. It's under the GNU GPL license. General Public License Version 2. As free software. And we'll scroll on down a little further. You can uh, link this with OpenSSL. So there's other things there. Um, it's freely available. It's a very powerful tool. And if you want to scroll to the bottom and get like the warrant, there's there's no warranty for this. So I mean, just be aware that don't install this on your work machine. Don't install this on your work laptop. I can't tell you how many times I've, I've had students in my classes and I've said, don't install this on your work machine. Don't install it on your work or your government machine. And they do it anyway. And or they go, you know, try to download some other other tool. So just just be aware of that. So we're going to hit agree and notice that everything's kind of already checked. There's other stuff here. NP cap, which is the packet capture library. Don't worry about that. You can just leave everything default if you want. And notice it gives you an option for uh, Zen map or the GUI front end here. So you've got Zen map right there. For some reason my pen decided to be the large one. That's fine. I'm going to clear that. Yeah, so, so Zen Map right there. Boom. You check that, you'll be good to go. It also gives you NCAT, which is the command line version of NMAP. So it gives you everything up front. So you don't have to go and, and hunt for everything or install ridiculous dependencies. So it's 84 megs, 84 megabytes. So to pick where you want to install it. I'm going to go ahead and hit install. And you wait a while and it comes back. It's pretty quick depending on your obviously your system. I can't guarantee it that it'll install as fast for you as it did for me, or you might have a faster system than me. So for all I know, you're already done. So you got some options here. Do you want it to only be 
runnable by administrators or um, if you need legacy support for some reason for Wireshark or something like that, there's that or older versions of Nmap. So don't worry about that. If you have no idea what I'm talking about, don't worry about it. And just leave it as as defaults and click next and install. And it's going to install the packet capture library that works with many other security tools. We may, we'll, we'll definitely touch on this again. There's NPCAP and then there's WinPCAP and then in Linux it's called LibPCAP. So there's packet capture. Basically it's just code that lets you download or rather uh, not download but capture packets. So, so here we go. So it deleted the old service. Now it's putting the new driver in, uninstalling the old version. So it kind of kind of cleans up after itself, which is kind of nice. So while we're waiting on that to go, let's go ahead and jump up here and look at uh, ZenMap. This is the ZenMap, uh, the GUI-based version. So they have it on Linux or they have it on uh, Windows as well. So it's kind of more user-friendly. So it tells you what's going on and what, uh, before you click a scan, it kind of gives you a prettier output. You get to see things like, you know, what host names and what services and what ports are open. So we'll do a, a quick end map scan of, I don't want to make this video too long, but if we, this could, this could turn into a really long video if we're not, uh, you know, we could be here for, you know, an entire class on end map. So we're waiting on this thing to finish installing. And then we'll notice that we've got end map set up running and we're waiting on NP cap to, you want to, if you're interested in seeing the stuff, that's fine. You're probably not, and that's perfectly fine too. <clears throat> All right, we can see our we're complete, and MP cap has been installed. We hit finish, and then quickly Nmap will will finish as well. And we're done. So you can pick, do you want shortcuts? I like to keep my desktop neat and clean, so I don't really put shortcuts on mine. So, so now once we're in, back into our operating system, you have control over it again. If you hit the start menu, and you go down here and you, notice that you can go to all apps and you'll see Nmap is available under its own folder. There's ZenMap right there. So so when you install Nmap, you've basically got two options. You've got the GUI version and you've got the command line version. So the GUI version or graphical user interface, let's go ahead and run that real quick. And we can see that we've got a plethora of options here. So this is ZenMap, so you can move it around and it's, it's perfectly fine, not gonna hurt anything. So let's orient you to the left-hand side and the right-hand side. So left-hand side, this box is where you're going to put your target. What do you want to scan? And so if you you can put in here like a subnet or you can put in an IP address. So if I just put in my whole network, and I don't want to do an intense scan because that will take forever. Uh, maybe I just want to do a ping scan. Notice I can click on the drop-down menu and it will change it's going to change this uh, command here. So funny enough that this this command right here, this is what you're going to type in, and I can't draw a straight line to save my life, but um, this is what you're going to draw, or draw, this is what you're going to write in order to uh, run your Nmap scans. So if you type this into the command line, this is actually a real command, and it works. So we're just going to do a ping scan, which is going to go out and say, find me all the devices on the network that are up. And notice we have a log here, and it says uh, what version of Nmap it is, what time it started. I'm on central time, and we're going to wait for some output. So one nice thing about the, the ZenMap GUI is that it gives you not only some information about your network, as in right here, we already got MAC addresses and we've got uh, IP addresses, but it gives you kind of a network map. So well, I'll show you what I mean by that real quick. So let's go ahead and 
get rid of all this. So we got some tabs here. If I click on the other tabs like ports and host, that doesn't populate anything right now because we haven't actually scanned on any ports. Well, what is a port, you ask? Well, a port is simply just a place for information to flow through. A port is where the data comes and Nmap's able to read it. Nmap sends out some probe packets and some packets come back. So look at this topology map right here. It's really kind of small. And I don't know is if this is like by design or you know, maybe somebody here can put in the comments if you know how to get this to appear at scale automatically. But you can click this, you can drag this around. And one nice thing you can do is you can actually zoom in on it. And then you can save the graphic and save it as a, um, a file. Once I actually get clicked on, yeah. So you can click on these different nodes and notice it's got different IP addresses. And it kind of expands and contracts as you go. And for some reason, mine is not uh, not wanting to zoom in right now, but there is there is a control tab. Maybe it's just maybe it's not playing nice with me. Usually, when I when I scroll in, it's supposed to go. But again, this is just it's a nice little thing to map out your network quickly. It's, there's better ones, but let's go over here on the left hand side. Notice we've got all of the IP addresses. Now these are all private, so don't worry about you. You got something like the you know, it's all a private network, so this is on my local uh, network here. So let's go ahead and we now have an IP address. So I'm just going to pick one at random. And we're going to go ahead and type in a command. We're going to change this up here from being the whole network. We're going to make this the IP address of one of the hosts on the network, 155. So instead of doing just a ping scan, Let's do something a little more detailed. Let's do a regular scan. And so notice that it's going to, if you just type in Nmap with an IP address, it's gonna give you that. But I wanna get a little more information, so I'm gonna type in dash ST, cause I wanna get a, I wanna make a TCP connection to it. Now this is kinda of loud and you wouldn't do this on a regular network, but what this basically does is it tells Nmap to do a TCP connection scan and it's going to go out to that IP address and we're going to get back some information. So let's go ahead and hit enter and it'll take a minute to get back and we'll get back our results and we should get some services that are up. I'm not sure which machine I just scanned. I just picked one at random and that's perfectly fine but notice you have this log and it's kind of nice because it gives you uh, you can scan all ports, you can scan, uh, I think Nmap by default scans the first 1,000 ports, but if you want to know more of how to use it, it's really easy. Just go over to uh, the Nmap webpage, and you can see all of their documentation. Let me get back on the mouse here. So if you go to the reference guide, it has a whole book on description, options, Target discovery, how to do port scanning. Notice Nmap has a scripting engine. We'll, we'll probably do another video on that later. Um, but you can do things like evade firewalls. There's all kinds of things you can do with Nmap. So you can find out what ports are open. You can find out what operating system a system is running. There's no substitute for spending the time to go in here and look at all the different techniques that there are. There's so many techniques. You can scan by port ranges. You can scan by services and versions. You can do simple discovery. So there's there's so much to to know. So we got we got one hit back, one port on that uh, IP address, and we have port seven thousand. We can see that it had one open port out of the first thousand that it scanned, and we have a MAC address. And you can actually put comments in here. If you're doing this for a real network, you can put comments in here to save. So, so the Zen map does have a place. You can actually um, export the scan. You can save it, right? So you can save this scan to a text file, or not a text file, but an Nmap, uh, .nmap format or an XML format. So you have a couple of options. So we're going to save this to test, and we'll put it into the 
uh, desktop folder just so it'd be easier to find. And so let's go ahead and you can also print. You can actually compare uh, search results. You can filter out hosts. There's you can have different profiles, and then there's a help command too. So so that's that's pretty much it with with Zen Map. Now let's look at Zen Map. If you go to the start menu and you type in CMD, you'll get a command prompt. You can, this looks like any other Windows command prompt and that's perfectly fine. What we wanna do here is we wanna go ahead and type in nmap and then we're gonna do slash question mark. So nmap doesn't have a help file like a traditional Windows command. So with nmap, what we're gonna do is we're just gonna type in nmap and we're going to do 192.168.7.155. That's our system we already have before. So notice the output is pretty much similar to what we got on ZenMap, except that NMAP, this is via the command line. So it'll take a little bit of time. And on if you keep on hitting Enter, it'll actually give you like a time elapsed. So... So let's go ahead and let's scan a different system. Let's scan the first. Um, let me go look at the IP address of the system I'm currently on, which I can't remember what it is. 253. All right, so let's go ahead and we're going to do an nmap-o, which is going to try to predict the operating system. Now, again, there's a lot more commands that we have time for in this short video, but I'm just showing you a couple of examples of things that nmap can do. And it's very, very useful because it will make you better as a uh, network administrator. It helps you find things on the network. And also you can use it to monitor your home network. So it's keep in mind also that it's not always exactly correct. There may be times when nmap is, is wrong or nmap reports information that's not correct. So, and that's perfectly fine. So what did we get? We got 994 closed ports, but we got some open ports. We got some port 80, so that tells me there's a web server that's open. Uh, 135 to 139, those are telltale signs of a Microsoft Windows box. Again, we'll probably do another video on port numbers just because it's critical if you're going to use nmap that you understand some of the port numbers but nmap's also a good way to help you learn some of the port numbers so we got microsoft ds or otherwise called smb server message block we have a microsoft sql server and we have 3389 which is traditionally remote desktop and it tried to make a guess about what os it is so notice even though i'm on the same network it couldn't figure out what what type of host was running Let's try one more scan on that same IP. If we do 192.168.7.253 with an uppercase A, notice this uh, uppercase A right here. So most of the nmap commands are gonna be the same. You're just gonna change this part unless you're running some kind of script or something like that. So let me go ahead and hit enter. And let's see what we get. So it's going to go out and try to do service enumeration and it's going to do a DNS resolution. It's going to do a few different things. DNS stands for domain name server. If you're not uh, familiar with DNS, uh, we'll probably talk about it in another video, but we're sticking with nmap right now because I think it's a good tool to, to get your feet wet, to get you in the knowledge of uh, being able to work with uh, cybersecurity tools and maps are great uh, and and best of all it's free it's free what can what what else better can you do but it, that it's free okay so notice this time we got a, lot, a little bit different information we actually got the host name which is alienware it's an alienware computer we actually got the dns name the netbios name we got the product version we got a os scan it says no exact matches but we see that it's running a SQL server. We see what version of SQL server it's running. So that's a lot of information that could be used to potentially find out what, what is running on the system. So I'm gonna type CLS to clear the screen. 
and I'm going to do uh, one other program that comes with Nmap. We'll probably do a separate video on, but I wanted to show you uh, Netcat. So Netcat or or Ncat, if you, if it's on Linux, it's NC. But Netcat is kind of a Swiss Army knife of tools that comes when you install Nmap, and it has options to set up a listening service for a port. It can set up a basic chat server. You can send files with it. All kinds of stuff you can do with Netcat. I just wanted to include it here just briefly because we're talking about Nmap. So uh, with Nmap, it's a great tool. Uh, if you want to run Nmap, you can do uh, Nmap-script and then the IP address, and then you call the script of the command. You can use nmap to do uh, banner grabbing, for example. Let's go back over to nmap here. So dash script, and you can um, even set arguments to scripts. So there's, there's a lot with nmap that you can do. Um, you can scan multiple subnets on multiple ports. The more you put in, the longer it's going to take to uh, run the scan. But it actually goes you through, uh, goes you through, it actually walks you through each uh, command. So host discovery is probably the most important one you're gonna do. So we did the lowercase sn, which is basically just a ping scan. It just says, okay, I'm gonna go out and send a ping and make sure that system's up and operational. You can do PN with no ping and some networks where you might not be able to use ping. There's all kinds of stuff with Nmap. So I hope that this uh, was interesting for you and you learned a little bit more about Nmap. We are gonna talk about one more thing before we close this video because I wanted to keep it under 30 minutes. So Nmap Online, this is a, uh, I don't believe these are actually affiliated, but they do have an API for doing Nmap online. So if you can't for some reason install Nmap, this is another option. Um, the commands will work basically the same. Um, so you could run Nmap-SV-Script, and then you could have it run and look for malware. So I could actually scan my IP address. Of course, you wanna make sure if you're using Nmap, you're only scanning systems that you're authorized for. If you scan Nmap on systems that you're not authorized for, that's a problem. So we have AP, they have an API key, so you can get in here and uh, connect other programs to it. So <clears throat> so this is uh, founded in 2019 for by cybersecurity experts. It doesn't tell us much, but their logo is the robot eye which is cool. So, so anyway, um, I hope that you guys enjoy uh, this stuff because I really do. Um, a lot more coming this year in 2021 from this channel, not just gaming, but also cybersecurity. So let me know in the comments what you guys thought about this. Let me know if this was something that was interesting to you. Let me know if uh, there's other topics that you want to see me talk about, other questions you want to ask me maybe i'll do some uh questions uh on on video you know we're definitely going to start live streaming uh follow me on uh youtube it's techno soldier gaming on uh let me go ahead and just jump over there real quick so you guys can see the so techno soldier gaming on youtube definitely click that subscribe button I've got a lot of gaming content, but the cybersecurity content is coming. Uh, on Twitter. Follow me over on Twitter at Army Ninja Captain, a military uh, veteran. I lo love this stuff. Um, I love helping you guys out. Love, love to learn, lifelong learner. And over on LinkedIn. You can just look me up by my name, Chris Hefner. I'm a security consultant for uh, Cyphurst. So definitely connect with me over on uh, LinkedIn. So that concludes uh, this 
in map tutorial i kept it under 30 minutes i appreciate you guys um keep watching keep keep positive in 2021 and we'll see you guys in the next one take care